Bhavani, you know, uh, thousands of people have seen you on on the video. It's not famous. We don't even need to talk about it. It's so famous. Uh, and you come across in that vid- video as somebody with very strong convictions, somebody who's uh, very assertive. Were you always like that? Were you ever a shy child? <laughs> shy, shy. <laughs> Were you? <laughs> I'm normal person only because maybe that day I sit there three hours and brainwashing. I also uh, what to call. Because uh, they said Q&A, was, because the brain wash, I cannot take it. S- student treat like that. So, I always thought it's sponta- spon- or th- spontaneous, what? is it? Yeah, spontaneous. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. But uh, so, and I think, you know, uh, Shaifa Zora has come on saying that you were planted, <laughs> that you were there, to you had an agenda when you came. And because of your own background, you're a member of Jaringan Rakyat Tatindas, Jaret. Uh, and you have a political background, the, you know, would anybody believe that you were spontaneous when they think, yeah, of course, she came, she had, you know, she had a, a script ready, she was like, I'm going to, you know, tell people what, uh, you know, I feel about these issues. Basically, if you see, I did, I, on the day only know the speaker is Sarifa Zora and from SWIM, because in the advertisement, they didn't put the who's the panel. First thing, and second, uh, and on the day only I know the topic is changed to women and politics, and the on the day only I know they will show the video clip on the birthday, uh, Nuruliza, they said uh, PT PT and and so on. Some more. My question is because they said uh, Sharifa Zora in the forum, she told that uh, when abolish the PT PT and how to give free education. Actually, my background from the gerakan menuntut pendidikan percuma which uh, started in 2009 by the Pobudu Socialist PSM Youth Wing as well with the collaborate with the other student group like Kami, Dema, SMM and so on. So you do have a very strong background in politics or activism at least? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I want to ask you, going back to, you know, your childhood, um, what made you uh, a kind of person interested in politics, wanting to participate, wanting to be an activist, uh, you know, having strong uh, political values? Where did that come from? Actually, since small, I like to help people. In my heart, I want to help people. That's why I choose psychology. I want to be a middle person and want to uh, listen to all the people's problems and resolve it and so on. It's like uh, that kind of thought. I okay, have. was it because of your parents, your mom or your dad? Were they mm. influential in your lives or was it books? Mm, maybe can say my parents father actually my father is a previous and my leader in my place and many people very respect my father because my father they said is like to do many helping people and so on so from that i also i don't know from small i i if there's something wrong i must why that okay <laughs> your father's uh, with the mic or was with the mic now why aren't you with the mic uh, my father passed away in 2000 i'm sorry uh, but my mom's still in MIC, but... So why aren't you in the MIC? Uh, why are you in PSM? Okay. Because since small, I like to question my mom. So, like, in in Indian, there's a caste. They say, uh, this caste is a lower caste and so on. I don't believe that. And also, the same goes to... Many people say, God, uh, have a lot of hands. And I don't believe... Uh, I mean, uh, what how to say? I cannot see the people oppressed in small because I don't know it's so okay so you grew up you're quite skeptical you're, you're are you a religious person uh, sort of sort of okay <laughs> so you ask questions you're a kind of person that is given to asking lots of questions now okay so but still my question is why not the MIC why did you choose PSM okay. over MIC <laughs> The turning point in my life started in 2005 when I entered the UKM in UKM I met one group it's called JKMI, Jawatan Kuasa Kebajikan Mahasiswa Mahasiswi, UKM, uh, Student Welfare Group. And uh, when I joined the group, I feel this group is very unique, different. They Every week, they go to rural place like estate, orang asal, uh, kampung, penuruka and so on. They give free tuition. It's very inspired me. Oh, what? Uh, the student doing free tuition and so on. And also, every semester break, we'll take uh, one week and go to any uh, problematic area and we stay with them. We uh, look at, in our eyes, what's going on in their place. Like, uh, they have, most of them are having the housing problem and so on. And we start to empower them. How they can take... Um, 
uh, leadership how to resolve their problem and so on. Okay, now, you know, many people get involved in charity work and they do similar things. Mm -hmm. They do tuition, they give food, they get involved in the lives of ordinary people who have, uh, for whatever reason, uh, are having a hard time. Uh, but the group that you're involved in were political. Well, for you, what is the distinction? What is the difference between doing good, being in the Lions or one of the other charity groups and being in a political group like um, JK Mind? First thing, this group, we don't have leader. We only call coordinator for any program. That's just, then we do meeting, we, we sit circle, in circle. If we see other groups, they have uh, we are very formal. They have a uh, leader and uh, deputy leader, if meeting, uh, somebody will sit, uh, say the, the another people will standing. And you don't like uh, that hierarchy? Uh, yeah. Because oh. Are I, you an anarchist? <laughs> no. <laughs> because I feel every people need to treat equally. Democratic centralism. I learned the democratic centralism real meaning when involved in this group. Because we feel every person is equal. Every p person has a right to give their views, give their opinion and so on. If compared with the other uh, society on her, they are very formal, uh, very bureaucratic, very uh, formy. Very okay. bureaucratic. Now, uh, you bring up the issue of democratic so uh, centralism uh, and I know that uh, we know that uh, Jaret is associated with Party Socialist Malaysia. Uh, now, socialism has been a uh, political ideology for, for, for the the good part of the 20th century, right? And a very important ideology. But it's also associated with high levels of bureaucratic rule, with, you know, with state socialism, with Stalinism. There are a lot of things that are, in fact, when you look at socialist politics of the past, that were very negative in precisely the kind of values that you talk about. Uh, uh, more democracy, a, a lack of hierarchy, kind of equal, equality in terms of even the activists, right? So in this day and age, Recognizing the history of socialism, how can you still be a socialist? Because I look at the socialism in 21st century, it's a different socialism because many people say China and many countries and so on. But I believe what I learned from this group is uh, every person is equal and we, when there is uh, something oppressed, we need to voice out. Uh, this is a basic value I learned from that. I didn't talk about the Stanley on because we when we cannot always talk about the ideology when come to the implementation we didn't do. Uh, for me, we need to do. So I, I I think that is the thing make me still in this group and also actually during the mass movement, PSM is the political party. It's the different and and finally one last question for you. Is your mother happy that you are involved in the work that you do now and that you're not involved in MIC? No, yeah, um, because I think... <laughs> she is? She's happy? <laughs> yeah, I think she's happy because she know um, after I involved in this kind of activity, I always compare and always explain to my mom, this is different, this is different. Why is it look different? Why they get, why this one didn't get, why, why, why? So sometimes we have argument with family. Uh, and also, uh, I because it's freedom of association, everybody has freedom. So we need to implement that. My mother has some kind, because my mother, I believe, is a uh, grassroots people at my say. Because she, uh, sometimes we argue. Uh, my mom, mom said, okay, everybody in my say is different. But I'm doing my job. For her, she doing a, maybe, how to explain. But... So far, now, after the incident, she's still okay. She know my way is different, her way is different, and most of the time, she will agree with me because we talking and we give example. And, and So maybe, w do you think one of these days, your mother will come over to your side and... Uh, Might be. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Bhavani. <laughs> Thank you.